Why do snakes bite humans? Is a snake bite incident always an accident? Studying snakes in the wild is not easy. It is difficult to study them using camera traps. This serpentarium in Hunzur, around 200 kilometers from Bengaluru and 50 kilometers from Mysore, is a place that looks at why snakes behave the way they do. Set up by the Liana Trust with the Karnataka Forest Department, this serpentarium is probably the only such center in India that allows WHO guidelines for keeping snakes and for venom production. Here, Gerald Martin, Lisa Gonsalves, and their team sedate and deworm some of the deadliest snakes in the world. Renowned herpetologist Romulus Whitaker also spends much of his time at the Serpentarium. It was he who coined the term the Big Four Russell's Viper, Spectacled Cobra, Saw Scaled Viper, and the Common Crate. Recently, in fact, until around uh... 2016, 2018, we didn't really know how many people were dying of snake bite in India. Then uh, I was co-author of a study called the Million Death Study, in which it shows that uh, actually up to 58,000 people, rural people, farmers and their families, die from snake bite and many thousands more are injured by snake bite. So we have to do something about it and the government has been taking note of this, but it was only when the numbers came up that people got serious about it. The Serpentarium houses seven venomous species and is said to have up to 400 snakes, with each individual in a separate enclosure in what Gerald describes as quote-unquote their happy place with lush flora and small pools of water in some and enclosures with busking lights for species like the Russell's Viper, which likes the warmth of the sun in cooler weather. One of the major tasks for Gerald and his team here is to take the venom from snakes and supply it to anti-venom manufacturers for free. So what we are doing here is we're actually working on creating a serpentarium where the snakes are as happy as they can be in captivity, um, where we produce venom that is of WHO standard and where we sort of marry both the best practices in husbandry with the best practices in venom production. We hired this app developed independently for use at our Serpentarium. It's called Ophian and we use it to keep track of our snakes. So everything from uh, their feed to their general well-being, when maintenance was last done, ecdysis, which is when they've shed their skin, venom extraction. We have a log of all of this for every snake that's housed here. So each snake has an ID card with a unique QR code. If I do want to pull up the details of this snake, I just scan the QR code and I have everything I need at my fingertips. This is the snake that we just picked up at the rescue call. It's a small Russell's Viper. Um, so what we do with new snakes is first prep a space for them that's separate off the other snakes because they go through a two month quarantine period. For now I'm just going to put the snake in here. Later we will uh, take its morphometric so that that's the weight and length of the snake. We put a PIT tag in which is a small chip with a unique number. Uh, so all of our snakes, even if they're housed together, you can scan them and identify uh, every individual. And uh, we also deworm them because very often snakes from the wild come in with very high parasite loads and we don't want that spreading to the rest of our collection. So for now, I'm just going to put the snake in here. Uh, and then the rest of the processes happen later. India is considered as the snake bite capital of the world and climate change is not helping matters either. According to a Lancet study, while some areas like the Amazon would see a loss in species, others like India with extensive farms would see an increase in areas suitable for venomous snakes to thrive in this climate. And one of the big four, the Indian crate, can strike when you are asleep. 
in here we have a common Indian crate and uh, this is a species that is nocturnal, it's, it comes out only at night and in many parts of the country there's a lot of conflict with the crate because they crawl around at night looking for food and in many parts of the country, especially in rural parts, people sleep out on the floor and many people get bitten in their sleep. The crate has very small fangs and the bite isn't particularly painful or anything so very often people just go back to sleep thinking that you know there was some insect bite or whatever and wake up in the morning with you know terrible symptoms uh, or don't wake up at all. So the common Indian crate is one of the big four venomous snakes in the country. Now until recently until recently, the, the big four were thought to be the only snakes that were relevant as far as snake bite goes. But we found over the last decade or so that there's a lot more species that uh, are involved in human snake conflict and, and are involved in snake bite cases. So in Karnataka alone, we have possibly around seven species that we need to focus on. and. Um, the big four is the Russell's viper, the saw-scale viper, the common Indian crate and the spectacle cobra. But in Karnataka, we also have the Sindh crate. We also have various sea snakes. We have pit vipers. Uh, the hump-nose pit vipers, the hump-nose pit viper has been known to uh, uh, cause fatal symptoms as well and even death. Um, but we don't have an anti-venom for it yet. So hopefully this center will start getting, uh, enabling the creation of these anti-venoms too. In India, many die of snake bite before they even reach the hospital. Some push their luck by approaching faith healers instead of doctors and pay the heaviest price. So what should one do when bitten by a snake? What we need to do is ensure that the patient doesn't move too much, uh, stays calm, which is easier said than done, but, uh, but it really is important. Uh, and then immobilize the limb that's been bitten, the hand or the foot. Uh, don't tie anything tight. Uh, just remove anything that might even constrict it, should there be swelling. So rings, bangles, friendship bands, uh, watches, anything that might constrict once the swelling sets in. And then head straight to hospital. Snake bite in India has been considered a poor man's problem. Now, with a new serpentarium planned in Tamil Nadu and a Venom Institute coming up in Bengaluru, the dubious tag of being the snake bite capital of the world may soon be a thing of the past.